start the concept of uh, coming up with an idea for a new car. It's probably the funnest part of the whole process. The radical ideas are thrown in so that you can start thinking, where's the limit? McLaren has made some legendary cars, like the McLaren F1, held the production speed record for nearly a decade. The 12C, an amazing road car, and now the P1. This is sort of a dream job for someone who loves cars because we remake and recreate cars. So right now, my infatuation is with the P1. I love it because we now have to look at how we simulate the physics, the hybrid nature of it, how the suspension is architected. That actually has to be reproduced in the game. With cars like the McLaren P1, it's not just about top speed. In fact, it's more about bending physics to its will. It's a combination of art, uh, nature, and science, where you can get something looking beautiful, performing beautiful, and finding out how to actually make it work. In Forza, we've had a lot of ideas, things we've wanted to bring to light for going on 10 years. Having learning opponents that, through cloud learning, can actually mirror human behavior. <laughs> On Forza Motorsport, we're obsessed with detail. And in this way, we share a cultural component with McLaren. They sweat the details as well. We're trying to develop what we call the uncompromised car. We don't accept compromises. That process of throwing things away, working together, coming up with new ideas, iterating, evolving, that idea of evolution. I mean, technology is always changing. It's given us new borders, new frontiers, new limits. We're trying to crash those limits, too. What makes a car relatable? What makes it look human and real? We've been waiting for technology to come along that inspires us to push that boundary even further. We're doing things now on the Xbox One that just weren't possible before. There's so much processing power, it's really a, a new territory to explore. 